Welcome back, a lot to show, so let's get to it. This will catch me up though. In the front we got, I think, all $1 books, and the back is a bag sale bag, so $3 for all those books in the back, including a few DVDs, so a great deal on those, but a lot of real random miscellaneous stuff, as you well know if you've watched these videos before. Let's check out some of the cool $1 titles we got here, though. These, uh, these three I got just the other day. You got the worlds of Robert Heinlein, and this includes a few different short stories. There you go. Pretty cool. Have, don't come across this one all too much, though. And a cool short story collection of his. One I might end up keeping, maybe. I still haven't read anything by him, so yeah. Get around to it. So much to read, so little time. Hunter S. Thompson's Hell's Angels. Don't come across this all too often either. And it's a pretty nice condition. Not worth a, a hell of a lot. <laughs> but a good, a really cool pickup there for price of a buck still. C.S. Lewis is um, it's a collection right here of his theology slash philosophy. I like to call it philosophy. Um, but yeah, it's technically theology, obviously. So you got Mere Christianity, the screw, screw Tape Letters, abolish, Abolition of Man, The Great Divorce, Problem of Pain, Miracles, A Grief Observed. Seven books all in one. So I might hold on to this one as I like the convenience of an, an omnibus style type book. Instead of having to gather all seven of those. And so from a few days before, we got all these are all $1 titles. Earl Stanley Gardner's a Perry Mason novel, The Case of the careless cupid in pretty nice condition as far as the dust jacket goes it's got that in there from well 1964 or yeah it looks like four because there's a comparable nine next to it and yeah okay not a book club edition but so an awesome find let's see what we got here as far as yeah, 1968. So that must have said 69. No, I thought it was 64. Either way. So we'll check that out. See if that's worth in much of anything. Good pickup, though. Got Nitschke's Beyond Good and Evil. You see this every once in a while. Or this particular edition, at least. And what we got here? The screw. Oh, yeah. Speaking of... Uh, C.S. Lewis, and I do not know how that happened right there. It <laughs> looks like it just got sliced off all of a sudden. Did I do that? I don't know. That is un very unfortunate, and I'll have to obviously try to repair that. I won't be in too much of a rush. This looks like a cool addition, though. Um, yeah, it's a Time Incorporated. We've seen a couple of these before. What was that other one? I think it was a Steinbeck or something. Maybe a Mark Twain. I can't remember. But yeah, so that would have been a really cool pickup if it was uh, not broken. It's a weird way for a book to break, though. And as you see, it's kind of got a cardboardish type feel. That doesn't surprise me because the other time published book that I had is a very, very similar quality. And William S. Burroughs' Naked Lunch, oversized paperback. Harry Harrison's The Stainless Steel Rat Wants You, probably book club edition. I'm not sure which number this is as far as taking place. We've got a bunch of others, so put them together. A is for Alibi. Now, this was, from what I could figure out, a true first edition. I will look more into it if that's the case. Then it might be worth a little something, not, not a lot probably. It's got someone's name right there. He used to own the book. I don't think that'll come off very easily. But either way, a seventh printing. And this is, of course, the first book in the series. Hence, the A is for Alba. And then the next one, B is for Burglar. C is for Corpse. And she got all the way up to the letter Y, I think, apparently, before she passed away. She almost got through the entire alphabet of these murder mysteries. But being the first one, yeah, I don't know. True first edition, later printing, might be might be worth a little something. We'll see. I got this for myself to look through. Ghost Towns of the Santa Cruz Mountains, which is where I'm from. This would be really cool to check out for me personally. A lot of cool 
pictures and info in here too. We got a Hyacinth book that we didn't have. This one's in hardcover form, which is cool. It's fine. Same price would it be the same price either way. Nice condition though. Razor Girl. I think this is a standalone, so it doesn't go into the series that I'm currently started. But I enjoy the author so far, so I'm going to be accumulating all of his books, which won't be too hard. They seem to be somewhat common, I guess. Not incredibly, but I'll be able to get them all, I think. I'm almost there. Halfway there, maybe. Colin Wilson's uh, Spider World, book three, The Fortress. This is the one that I re need to read next. So now I got a second copy, and what I will do, of course, is read the one that's whichever copies in not as good of condition to keep the other one more preserved as I collect Colin Wilson books. So it could be this one, it could be the other one. But yeah, I will be getting around to reading that story soon. There is also a fourth and I think a fifth book. I'm not, I can't remember exactly. It's definitely a fourth one after that one. And this is kind of a random pickup. I've never seen this before. I Vampire, this is also published by Ace. So that made it a little more intriguing and pretty nice condition as well. This is by Jody Scott. So I will look more into this and find out what the deal with this particular book is. Maybe it's worth a few bucks. Maybe it's worth a little more. I don't know. But kind of intrigued to see what the deal with that is in general. Got a Da Yellow Spine of Lynn Carter Presents The Year's Best Fantasies. Fantasy Stories number five. Ooh, not in great condition. I don't think I really noticed that in the back. But nevertheless, still a pretty cool pickup, I think. And we've got some more Horse Clans book. I do already have this one, but I couldn't really resist when I find these. I'll probably have to stop at some point. Silver, a Cat of a Silvery Hue. And ones that I always pick up because I just don't see very often that I also have too way too many of is the Michael Moorcock titles. This is also a Daw Yellow Spine, City of the Beast, or Warriors of Mars. And we got an unusual Marvel um, pocket-sized paperback form of yeah, it's a it's a, a total novel here, yeah. Stanley presents the Avengers in a novel by okay the man who stole tomorrow. David Michelini. This is Marvel store uh, Marvel novel series number ten. You know I'm not really familiar with these. I've seen and read, especially back in the nineties. I've read some, and we'll see some in a second. Ones that I have read Marvel novelizations, but not this one. And apparently there's a whole huge series of it. Of at least ten of these. So interesting. The fact that I haven't seen it makes it possible that it's rare and worth a little something. We'll find out. Probably a little something, not too much, but could be tough to find maybe. American Indian and the Occult. Should be interesting to look through. Got Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita. This is an old edition, old paperback edition, 50 cents originally pretty good condition overall and we got Solzhenitsyn uh, however we say it the gulag book we come across this one quite a bit and yeah uh, people are always looking for this particular book edition and, and copy of, of this one there's other ones as well in the series and they sell they, yeah they you could price them a little pretty high actually and Dostoevsky's The Gambler Bobak, a nasty story. Let's see, was that? Um, yeah, three in one penguin edition. Pretty nice. And the portable Thomas Jefferson Viking Portable Library. I don't come across this one all too often. A nice condition, too. So, pretty good deal for a buck. And we got a horror anthology, Stalkers, 19 original tales by all kinds of great authors and we I've, I've had this one a, at least a couple times and I'm always always grab it right away when I find it cool cover art too and kind of reflective as far as the gold goes and yeah it's got F. Paul Wilson Dean Koontz who else we got in here 
A lot of names I don't recognize, of course. Yeah. Got the Great Shark Hunt, Gonzo Papers, Volume 1, in pretty nice condition as well, so cool pickup there. Yeah, everything that we've seen here has been $1. We have some $2 books coming up, but we're still in the $1 plus discount category or section of the video. And here are some of those Marvel novelizations from back in the 90s. This one is Mutant Empire Book 1. Um, this one's called Siege. I've actually, yeah, I've read this one. It's pretty good. I mean, from what I remember, that was a long time ago, though. But these are kind of tough to find, so I'm, I don't really hesitate picking these up. And this one's Empire's End. I'm not sure if I've read this one or not. Um, yeah. We've got Tad Williams, The War of the Flowers. I wonder if that has to do with anything. The War of the Roses? Yeah, the... Anyway, um, huge book, of course, like most of Tad Williams' book. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of a series or not. I'll find out. And $2 books right here. A couple of Zachariah Sitchin books. One that I do already have. Let's see which one. I don't have this one. I think this is book six. Let's see here. No, this is the third book, excuse me. The, the Wars of God and Men, and yeah, this is of the Earth Chronicles series. This is book uh, four right here of the Earth Chronicles, The Lost Realms. I think I already have that one. And we found a Glenn Cook book. Preheat paperback for 300 degrees, and then read prologue when, when a timer goes off. The Tyranny of the Night. This is a novel of the instrument. Wait, was that the instrumentalities of the night? Uh, okay. So it's nothing to do with the Black Company series, but a different series of his. But yeah, I don't find the Glenn Cook novels all too often. So I always grab those. And for $2, a Tad Williams book in nice condition. Other Land, Volume 2, River of Blue Fire. And we got Occult Ether Physics by William Lin, or Lin. Tesla's Hidden Space Propulsion System and Conspiracy to Conceal It. Should be interesting. A lot of highlights in it, so. And writing within and stuff. Let's take a look at the table of contents for those maybe interested in this kind of stuff. Maybe this. Both would be up your alley. We'll see. Okay, so now let's uh, roll through these uh, bag. This is uh, all of these books here were basically three dollars, and uh, so there's going to be a lot of random stuff. So let's roll right through them really quickly here. A few DVDs. Got Reign of Fire. A couple fan uh, Final Fantasy. This is the first one. It wasn't all quite that good, but not bad. Spirits Within. And what was this? Yeah, here's the other one. This one was really cool. Final Fan based on Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. And this is the one without the uh, extra uncut, so that's a little tougher to find now. Um, what to Bleep Do We Know? Excellent movie on quantum physics. If you haven't seen it, you could actually probably watch it on YouTube, I think. And Monty Python Live. I think I already got this, but grab it in. I'll make sure. I'll see. I do. The Mothman Prophecies. Pretty good movie. Based on true events to some degree. And here's a bunch of Dover Thrift Editions. Frederick Douglass. Narrative of the Lives of Frederick Douglass. The, Immort the Importance of Being Earnest. So Mark Twain Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This one's a little extra thick compared to the other thrift, Dover Thrift Editions. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Self-Reliance and Other Essays, Plato, Symposium, and we got a Cliff's Notes here, Developmental Psychology, kind of a thicker one too, kind of a random pickup, but it'll go together nicely with something. That's the thing when you're a seller or reseller, and I like to put, I mentioned before, putting this will go into like a new little mini project, which there are dozens, if not a hundred, 
or so mini projects of trying to put together listings and such. And this one will probably go in my closet, my book club or my little library here, mini closet or whatever. Those are all my books that aren't for sale, though a lot of the stuff does come out when I purge a little, I have to move stuff in. Sometimes you gotta take stuff out. I think we've shown that before. So it's not indefinite, it's only indefinitely in there, pretty much. So two essays on analytical psychology by Jung. So this will that'll go in, the, in there. And we got Bruce Lee's fighting method. Nice condition. I think we came across another copy of that recently. And dynamic Aikido. Nice condition as well. It's uh, Tennessee Williams. A streetcar named Desire. Oversized paperback. Nice looking book on stem cells. Very good. And Agatha Christie at a new bedside bathtub armchair command. You see this one every once in a while, but a pretty good pickup for bag day, I think. Spiritual emergency, so when personal transformation becomes a crisis. Why is this okay? I picked this up for some reason, I can't remember exactly. Must have looked to take a better look at it. Mark Twain, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, book on Van Dyck. This is a yeah, got a lot of his art. So these are always really cool little books here colored photos of artists work and such got a bunch of those put those together to a listing oh, it's starting to get dark here penguins iris apparent uh, penguin edition of iris murdoch book the sacred and profane love machine pretty decent condition the meaning of evolution george gaylord simpson Really cool cover art there. A little tiny book on caring for your books. I've, I have this already, but it doesn't, didn't take up much room in the bag. <laughs> kind of random pickup, especially since I already got it. Book on Freud. This one's a group psychology and analysis of the ego. There's a bunch of Freud books. Uh, that's probably the only one I got. The Third Force, The Psychology of Abraham Maslow. So I'll probably keep that. Psychologist Dictionary. Actually, let me put those together. Psychology of Thinking. So it's a Pelican edition. Shakespeare's Life. The Life's and Life and Times, a visual guide. Ah, that's pretty cool. The Shakespeare section is over there. The power of subconscious of your subconscious mind. Come across this quite often, actually. Another Mark Twain, Letters from the Earth. The Gestalt Therapy Verbatim. Stephen R. Lawhead, Byzantinium. This one's a huge book. I'm not sure if this is a omnibus or three-in-one. Looks like just one standalone novel, I think, though. He's got a bunch of series. Uh, they're pretty good. I mean, I read them a long time ago, so might not think the same now, but I, I enjoyed them, or that author in particular. Battlestar Galactica Three: The Tombs of Cobol. Pretty cool. Eight Great Tragedies. It's a mentor, a mentor book. So it's got all of those in there. About behaviorism, B.F. Skinner. We've got Tolkien's The Hobbit. Pretty nice condition. 50th uh, anniversary edition. Um, Ballantines. Jackie O. More John F. Kennedy related books, which is getting pretty popular right now. So I'll grab, I usually do grab the Kennedy related books. They sell eventually, or at some, they always eventually sell, but they're even more popular nowadays, it seems. Ordeal by Hunger, come across this quite often. Great author, George R. Stewart, about the Donner Party. 
S.E. Hinton. That was then. This is now. T.S. Eliot. Old Passion. Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. And Shakespeare's Macbeth. This is those uh, Signet classics with the cool abstract art on the front that I like. Actually, uh, yeah, I was uh, going through all my Shakespeare books and listing some, so didn't, that one might have gone in nicely. We'll, we'll see. Uh, brother, the Brothers Karamazov. Dostoevsky, a huge, huge book. I know this has probably got to have more in it than just that title being that big. I'll check that out later. The Fall, by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan. And A Golden Guide on Geology, a little mini. Colored educational guides. It's getting dark in here. Sorry about that. We've got one of the hard case crime editions. The 20 year death. Oh, cool little pickup for bag day. Psychoanalysis. Elementary textbook. A really beat up copy of James Harriet Dog Stories. Now I got this as a reading copy for myself, so when I get around to this, though I'm curious to find if those stories aren't contained within the other books that I'll have read by the time I get to that. We'll see. Ken Kesey's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. John Bruner, The Atlantic Abbott Abomination. And The Anguish of the Jews. Thomas Harris, Hannibal, running out of light here. Almost done though. Hanto Yo, the American Saga, okay, this is a big book here. And speaking of big books, Centennial by James A. Michener. Nice condition, good pick up there. So yeah, <laughs> all the randomness of a bag of books, especially at that point anyways thank you so much for watching hope you had a good eating day and spent some time with your families and got along with them treasure those times cherish those times because you'll wish you had promise you that that is a guarantee and in life i could definitely guarantee you even if you hate them you'll wish you've spent some time with them you know in one one manner or another, one fashion or another, one capacity or another. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Happy reading to you. Those about to read, I salute you.